Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to install Docker for CentOS and for Fedora. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to delete this machine, uh, the Debian machine that we created. I'm just going to terminate it. I'm going to say yes. And now I will launch a new instance. I will say AWS Marketplace and I will look for the CentOS image. Uh, so let's do exactly the same thing, Docker for CentOS. Uh, for CentOS and let's look for the first result and here we're gonna find the requirements so here the OS requirements is that you need to have at least CentOS 7 so let's look here for CentOS 7 great we found it so let's select this and let's go through this entire workflow again to create the machine so continue next enable the IP, the public IP, next, uh, next, select an existing security group, which is going to be the default, review and launch, and launch, and I acknowledge, blah, blah, launch instances, that's great. So basically, I'm doing exactly the same thing. I'm just creating a CentOS machine. Remember, you can create the CentOS machine using VirtualBox or Fedora in your own laptop. So let's click on this instance and we will need to wait until the state is running. Seems like the machine is already running. So let's copy the public IP address of this machine. Let's go to our terminal and let's do the same command line. Oh, but in this case, uh, we need to use the CentOS user. And this is still refusing the connection because probably the machine is still booting up. So let's wait until it comes up. And great, now we're able to connect to it. Let's type yes. And we are logged in in this machine. So pretty cool. Now you see that we're in a CentOS machine. And again, if we type Docker PS, then it's not going to work. Oh, and remember that this is CentOS 7. So great, let's go to Google and type Docker for CentOS. OK, we already did it. And let's follow the documentation to install Docker. So we're going to copy this. These are some packages that we need. So let's copy and paste it. Once the installation of the dependencies is completed, we go and we add this Docker repository. So we're going to copy and paste. Then uh, we are going to go to install Docker. This is way, way easier compared to Ubuntu or Debian. So let's copy and paste this line, say dash Y, and this is going to install Docker CE. Okay, here I want to point out something, and it is that in Docker we have two type of Docker, we can say. We have the Docker, which is Docker CE, which means Docker Community Edition, which is for free, and anyone can use it. And we have another version, which is Docker EE, which stands for Enterprise Edition, Docker EE. So in this course, we will be using Docker CE, which is for free, and anyone can use it, because Docker EE is actually paid, but in this course, we're going to do it for free. So we are installing the Community Edition packages. So let's take a look at the installation. Great, it finished. So let's test it by using this command. But before doing it, we need to start the service here. So let's copy and paste this command. Let's paste this. Basically, we're starting the service with this command. And then we can test it. So let's copy this and paste this line. Oops. Uh, let me try again and great it says hello from docker which means that our installation was successfully done so that's cool and now we need to do exactly the same thing docker ps we have permissions errors so sudo please modify the user and add it to the group docker uh, you know add the center's user to that group then great, if you type docker ps, it's not going to work. You need to log out and then log back in for the changes to take effect. Once you are back to the terminal, you can type docker ps and you see the magic. So this is great. Remember, this is the installation for docker in CentOS. The installation for Fedora is pretty similar to that. It's exactly the same way, but using a different repository. So you can go to you can do it by yourself 
type in Docker for Fedora, try to follow these steps, and then let me know how it goes. So this is it for this video. I'll see you in the next lesson.